the pressure increase or decrease the pressure has been increasing and it seems it will continue to increase so over the weekend Karen Yamu was on the spot after she announced that she had plans and a way of donating free tampons to girls in schools she announced that she was gonna do this in collaboration with Cortex Kenya only for Cortex Kenya to Rukaha Kipetero Kies <laughs> Karen Yamu made the announcement via Instagram and a lot of people criticized the post that she made and her program in general. So she said that she would be donating these free tampons to slums. However, the challenge that is there is water shortage. I mean, tampons require a high level of hygiene to use. And we know that in slums, the access to water is a huge problem. So then how would these girls be able to maintain the high level of hygiene with the water problem the other issue is that if this high level of hygiene is not observed then it could lead to other infections and something called shock syndrome which in turn could cause fertility issues or even lead to death fellow women highlighted the fact that tampons could be hard to use when it comes to young girls who are in school most especially because they are still virgins people also highlighted that these things can get stuck and also the fact that they aren't long lasting as compared to sanitary towels and not to mention the fact that tampons are more expensive than sanitary towels so in as much as Karen Yamu was trying to say that there is a lot of misinformation about tampons and she wanted to create awareness even if they did donate these tampons to girls in school how long will, for how long would they sustain the program because after that the girl would still have to get these tampons for herself and if people can't afford 80 shillings or if young girls are struggling to get that 80 shillings for a pack of sanitary towels what about getting tampons which are more expensive so all in all Karen Yamu was trying to make it look like she was providing a solution but in the real sense there is no solution there at all the whole reason why people have been rejecting the finance bill and especially the reason why women have been rejecting the finance bill and we've had many women say this it's because of the taxation of sanitary towels which meant that the price of sanitary towels would go up so what is the essence of taking tampons to a young girl and teaching them how to use them when later on they might not be able to afford them so these were some of the concerns that many people had with her program and many people noticed that Karen Yamu really doesn't seem to understand the challenges of young girls and the challenges of women and therefore in as much as she may be trying to be advocating for women and young girls she really seems to be doing the opposite and providing unsustainable solutions temporary solutions basically temporary solutions and so in return many people in the comment section threatened to boycott cortex kenya and in return cortex kenya boycotted karen yamu by announcing that they had no plan together that they weren't in in this announcement that karen yamu had made of course she wasn't happy she blasted them by saying at cortex kenya don't be chickens a few threatening comments here and there and hours later you post this lol she didn't stop here she made another post addressing the same issue by saying you don't have to agree with my political affiliation but you can appreciate this noble cause my foundation has taken up to expose our girls to alternative feminine hygiene products like tampons and period caps and still in this comment section many people still raised the same concerns with people saying that hey we do not really need tampons and period caps we need sanitary towels that are affordable for our girls other people also questioned isn't Karen Yamu going against what she was initially advocating for because she claimed to be advocating for local brands however Cortex is not exactly a local brand the fact that she still went ahead and posted about her noble cause the second time defending it and noting that she is still adamant about going ahead with her program shows how out of touch she is with the reality in the ground.